has the band Wasp, featuring singer Blackie Lawless, been using backing tracks on their current live U.S. tour? Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's pretty controversial with a lot of rock music fans. We're talking about bands using backing tracks during their live shows. There have been rumors circulating for years about bands like KISS and then more recently Motley Crue using backing tracks, especially for the lead singers when their voice, you know, isn't quite what it used to be. Lots of people claiming that Paul Stanley lip syncs now because his voice is just completely shot. And then, you know, this past summer during the stadium tour with Motley Crue, rumors, conspiracy theories about them using backing tracks for Vince Neil's voice and also adding in some like supplemental guitar for Mick Mars. And now very recently there's been some online chatter about the band Wasp using backing tracks during their current US tour. And I've seen comments on both sides of the argument. I've seen guys saying you know, I just watched the video. You can see he's lip syncing. You see he's away from the mic, but you can still hear the vocal or his, his lips don't match up with the lead vocal. And then other guys saying, dude, I was at that show. There's no way he was lip syncing. It was totally live and it was awesome. Well, now Blackie Lawless, lead singer and leader of Wasp has finally set the record straight. All right, guys, I am reading to you from an article on the website Blabbermouth. I'll put a link to the original article in the description if you want to read the whole thing. Here's the title of the article. Wasps Blackie Lawless admits to using backing tracks during live performances. So yes, according to Blackie, they are using backing tracks. Wow. But hang on guys, before we start getting all crazy and like, what? Let's read Let's, let's listen to what Blackie has to say about it, and uh, it might actually make sense. To answer your question, yes, we are using backing tracks. You want to know why? Yes, Blackie, we do. We want to know why. When we go into a studio, and let me clarify that statement, that's me singing. But when we go in a studio, we do choruses. We do double, triple, quadruple the vocals, he continued. So my feelings were when I listened to live YouTube recordings of our shows and we weren't doing that, it sounded thin. When we started supplementing it, it sounded better. If I'm a fan and I'm coming to a show, I want that thing to sound as good as it can. There are other bands, the queens of the world, they cannot duplicate 24 vocals at one time. That's what they do on those records. If you want it to sound like those records, you've got to have some help. Now in defense, I guess maybe what you're asking, is it fair for a band to go out and use only those? No, that is not fair. Like I said, I take a lot of pride in what I do for the lead vocals that I do. But when it comes to vocals, or when it comes to orchestration, we went out and we did the Crimson Idol the first time without orchestration. It was okay, it sounded all right. It was kind of like The Who doing live at Leeds, what they did with Tommy. When we did the 20th anniversary of the tour, we took the orchestration with us and we went into production rehearsals. And I had never heard it like that before because the only time I ever heard it with orchestration was the albums. And I went in there and I stood in the middle of that room and I heard that orchestration with the live band and it made the hair stand on the back of my neck. And I went, good God, I never heard this like this before. To me, that was a treat. And I don't give a crap what anybody says. If I'm a fan, that's what I want to hear. So again, if somebody's trying to BS an audience, no, I don't go along with that at all. You're out there to do a job, do your job. But to supplement it, Absolutely not. I'd want to hear it. All right, guys, so there it is. That's what Blackie had to say about it. He says he's not lip syncing his lead vocal. When you hear his lead vocal, he's singing live. They're just piping in like the extra stuff, the orchestration. You know, obviously they don't have keyboard players, orchestras, whatever. They don't have 20 backup singers. So anything like the layers, the 
extra stuff that they added on in the studio when they made the albums, they're, they're adding that in to the live show to basically make the songs sound more like what they sound like on the albums. And let's be clear, they are not the only band doing this. I think there are a ton of bands doing this nowadays. But the question is, guys, do fans want that? Do fans really go to the live shows expecting it to sound just like the album? I mean, if you show up, you're at the show, and they start playing a song, and it doesn't have all those layers of backing vocals and extra guitars or whatever they're adding in there, are you seriously standing there going, Ah, what? This is kind of disappointing because it doesn't sound just like the album. Maybe that's the case for some fans. I don't know. I guess it really just depends on the person. And I think it depends on the band too. Like, I think adding in this extra stuff, extra layers, extra backing vocals, it kind of depends on the, kind, the style of music that the band plays. And I think certain bands can probably get away with not doing that and they're gonna sound great live anyway. For me personally guys, and this is just my opinion, and everybody's gonna have their own opinion and that's okay, but as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't really go to the shows expecting it to sound just like the record. If I'm going to a live show, I would actually want the songs to be a little bit different. You know, maybe they change the arrangement a tiny bit, uh, not too much, but I would want the songs to sound live and to have that energy live and to not necessarily sound exactly like the album. If I want to hear the songs, how they sound on the album, I'll listen to the CD, I'll go, I'll go on YouTube or whatever. But I think live is a, it's a different animal. At least for me it is. But what do you guys think? What would you prefer? Do you want to go see a band and it's just, it's nothing but those four guys or five guys or three guys or whatever? Or do you want to have all this stuff, extra stuff, piped in from tapes, whatever, that's going to make the sound huge, probably make them sound better, but not 100% live? Would you prefer that? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm really curious to see what everybody has to say about this. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.